Hello, this is your internet pal Josh, back with you again for another Whiskey Friday review um, here at Sipologyblog.com. Coming to you from the cloudy but still nice um, city of Royal Oak, Michigan, the jewel of southeastern Oakland County. Uh, so, uh, tonight we have uh, one of our popular head-to-head -head tastings, this time not two whiskeys, in my reviewing, but three. These are all three malt whiskeys. These are all three peated malt whiskeys. Um, one from Scotland, one from the United States, and one from both. So, tonight we start off with, oh, first my shirt. My shirt is, if you can see it, there it is. Um, it's part of a line of uh, uh, t-shirts with retro whiskey labels um, on them uh, that used to be sold at the Bourbon Heritage Center in Bardstown, Kentucky, um, otherwise known as the Heaven Hill Gift Shop. Um, I don't think they sell these anymore, but you can always give them a call. Uh, they're going through either now or soon or just did go through a renovation. Um, so it's going to be pretty different in there. Um, hopefully it'll be more like just a, just a gift shop instead of a gift shop trying very hard to be a museum um so anyway um it's a cool shirt and i like it so um our first malt whiskey is ardbeg anoa which is from our good friends at ardbeg in on the island of isla in the western hebrides um, which also brings us such um, delightful uh, single malts as uh, Lafroig, Lagavulin. Um, um, that one I can never pronounce correctly, Kulila, I think. That, that's as close as I can get. Um, and many others. Uh, they're known for their smoky peaty whiskeys. Um, uh, but one of them, Bunahaban, is not peated. And there are some unpeated expressions of another one as well, of the. Um, I don't know. I forget that. I forget that name. Anyway, Ardbeg is not one of the unpeated ones. Um, it's famous for being very smoky. Um, um, and this one, Anoa, is a newish release. It is a, I believe it was released last year. I could be mistaken on that. Um, it is a no age statement whiskey, um, a single malt whiskey. Um, it um, has an alcohol by volume percentage of 46%, which translates to 92 proof American. Um, it sells for a minimum of $55 in the state of Michigan. Um, <clears throat> so, um, it, um, I don't think I have anything else to say about that. So, let's go to our next one. Next one is Virginia Distillery Company. Port Cask Finished Virginia Highland Whiskey. Um, this is a kind of a weird one. So it's um, it comes from um, the Virginia Distillery Company, which is located in Lovington, I think. I think it is. Let's see. Let's check the label, shall we? Yeah, Lovingston. Sorry, my apologies to all the folks in Lovingston. Uh, Lovingston. Virginia, which is between Charlottesville and Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, so not not really in the middle of somewhere, um, to put it mildly. So um, <clears throat> it is located in some of the higher and elevation areas of Virginia, which is why it is called the Virginia Highland Whiskey, a part of the reason why. The other reason is that it is actually... Notice the label, it is whiskey from Scotland married, not blended, married, with Virginia whiskey distilled from malt mash. And then it's um, finished in a port cask. So this is sort of, sort of a weird hybrid product. Um, um, it's just called whiskey um, on the label. Um, I'm not an attorney, uh, so I can't get into all the legalities of what that means or what it could be labeled as. Um, yes, I really should have shaved today, shouldn't I? Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, it's easy to forget these things these days. Um, so, um, it is also, I believe, slightly peated. 
Um, there's no mention of peat on the label, but I can certainly smell it um, and taste it, um, especially when I try it after an unpeated uh, malt. So, anyway, we've got that. Oh, and they were uh, the subject of a lawsuit a few years ago um, <clears throat> from the Scotch Whiskey Association, um, everybody's favorite uh, uh, booze association. Um, claiming that the word Highland appearing on the labels was uh, creating confusion as to whether it was Scotch whiskey or not, uh, which it is not. Um, so, so, but you know, that makes sense since, you know, Scotland is the only country in the world with Highlands, right? Um, anyway, uh, you can probably guess what I thought about that decision, but they lost. Um, and so they had to change things around. Um, this bottle, I believe, is from before they lost the lawsuit. Um, anyway, so, um, kind of an odd product with a quirky history, um, for such a young product. Um, the final one here is from another micro distillery. It's, this is McCarthy's Oregon Single Malt from our good, good friends, even though I've never, like, contacted them in person, um, at the Clear Creek Distillery. Um, I'm a big fan of Clear Creek's brandies. I think they do a, a really great job with that. Um, this is their uh, single malt. Um, it is um, distilled from a, they say, uh, distilled from a mash of peat malted Scottish barley. So um, they import the peated uh, barley, peated malt. Excuse me. Um, and they make a whiskey from it. And then it's um, aged in barrels for three years. So the age statement is three years old. Um, it is a little bit lower in proof than the other two. The Virginia Distillery Company is also, um, um, is also 46% um, alcohol by volume, AKA 92 proof. Uh, McCarthy's is 85 proof or 42.5% alcohol by volume. So it's a little bit lower proof. <laughs> Um, and it sells for $55, just like, uh, Ardbeg and Oa. Oh, and, uh, Virginia Distiller Company, you may notice, I'm sorry to keep jumping around, but this is my second take and I'm just, I'm just going with it here. Um, you'll notice some oddness on the label of the Virginia, uh, one too. Uh, the original price was $58. However, it was discontinued, I believe due to the whole lawsuit business. Um, and so, um, when a product is discontinued, a retailer can um, can petition the state of Michigan to allow uh, kind of clearance discounts on a on a spirits product. Holiday Market did this and um, and got it reduced to uh, twenty eight ninety nine, uh, which looked like a good price to me for an unknown, relatively unknown product. So I bought it. Um, anyway, so uh, back to McCarthy's. Um, uh, McCarthy's is um, uh, the McCarthy's is from batch W14-01, um, bottled September 8th, 2014. Uh, this uh, Virginia Distillery Company uh, one is from batch eight, um, and the art bag is, like I said, just recently came out. Um, so let's get tasted. So we're going to start with the Ardbeg here. I have my notes in front of me, but as always, I will taste as I am speaking them, just so I can kind of check my notes, make sure I'm not completely off base here in what I wrote down. All right, so I'd say the color is medium copper, kind of on, maybe even light copper, I think is maybe a better description. It's a great nose. Um, smoke. Um, I get, of course, earth and dark chocolate. Maybe like, maybe like semi, maybe like semi-sweet. Um, not like really bitter chocolate, but slightly sweetened um, chocolate. Very great, fantastic nose. All right, I'll check the nose on the Virginia Distillery Company. Critique of the cork is that it's hard to pull out. <clears throat> That's what he said. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Um, 
So this one um, is a little bit more, um, um, I don't know, malty, I would say. Um, definitely get a lot of malt in here. A little bit of peat. Not necessarily smoke, but definitely peat, if that makes sense. And some leather on here. Um, and, oh, by the way, I don't know uh, where the Virginia Distillery Company got their... Um, scotch whiskey to blend with their own distillate um then again i didn't really try to dig too hard on that issue either so it's good <clears throat> another hard cork now the mccarthy's Smells like walking into a bell tire um, showroom. Just very aroma of rubber is primary, like new rubber car tires. So let's go back to Ardbeg. Um, so let's see what it's like on the palette. very good um, full-bodied smoky uh, more uh, chocolate maybe some toffee and some espresso almost like a mocha mocha chino kind of thing going on with like the chocolate and the coffee um, very very good um, just delicious this would be perfect with chocolates um, I'm falling in love with this whiskey. All right, go for the Virginia Distillery Company. Quite a bit sweeter and maltier. Um, it's also full body though, a little hint of smoke. Got some cherry wine and some uh, uh, sweet malt. McCarthy's. Like chewing a rubber band, if you ever if you ever did that as a kid, I did because I was a very strange child. Um, a little bit of sweet malt and some alcohol. Um, so let's try the finish here. Finish on the um, Ardbeg is soot. Um, like uh, fireplace soot as opposed to like cigarette soot um, a little bit of caramel too um, <clears throat> I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit um, but I think we'll be okay um, <coughs> excuse me allergies I swear um, next is for the Virginia Stillery Company On the finish, I get much more, like specifically port, as opposed to just a kind of fruit juice. Um, a little bit of smoke and peat, um, and some alcohol. Um, overall, pretty, pretty, pretty well balanced throughout. Again, chewing. <coughs> Excuse me. Chewing a rubber band, um, a little bit of smoke at the end, maybe like a flaming rubber band, something like that. Not, yeah, not great. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so, what's the verdict? Um, if I had to rank them, um, I think, unlike many of these head to heads, I think this is a real clear choice. Ardbeg is number one. Um, it's just, it's got the best balance without being interesting or without being boring, without being interesting, without being boring. Um, uh, that can be kind of a hard trick to pull off. 
just a wonderful smoky, chocolatey um, um, dram. Um, even though I rarely use that word, um, but it's it's really delicious. Um, and only fifty five dollars, only fifty five dollars, which is not bad for a, a for a high quality uh, single malt, especially one from Ardbeg. Um, I gotta give it a big thumbs up. Highly recommended. Um, Ardbeg Anoa. Uh, for the Virginia Distillery Company, um, it's kind of a weird uh, product. Um, maybe some people might think, you know, especially American whiskey people were accustomed to the rules around bourbon and how it has to be so pure and just the product of the distillate and the wood and yeah. But um, um, I think there's a, there's a place for blending and this kind of product is really an innovative way uh, for small distilleries to make money while they're waiting for their um, own uh, distillate to mature. Um, it's, it's a more interesting thing to do than just making another gin or vodka or um, selling uh, somebody else's whiskey. Um, so uh, points to them for innovation. Um, and just as far as just drinking it, it's it's good. It's fine. I, I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pay $58 for it. But thirty dollars is, uh, or twenty nine, is 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 more than a fair price for it. So I'll give that one a recommendation. <clears throat> uh, hear the bells from the uh, shrine of the little flower. Um, that means it's time for me to wrap it up. So um, finally, uh, McCarthy's. Um, I'm just, I'm just not digging it. I'm really not. Um, I've been able to drink it um, just kind of by itself, but compared to everything else, it just does not um, taste good. Um, you know, and that's not just a specific dig on McCarthy's. A lot of Scottish distilleries um, have a hard time keeping these kind of burning rubber um, tastes and aromas out of their whiskey. Um, and some people have a higher tolerance for it than I do, but I just can't. It just, mm -mm, not doing it for me. Uh, McCarthy's Oregon Single Malt, at least at least this batch, maybe later ones have improved, um, is not recommended. Um, <clears throat> especially when for the exact same amount of money as I paid for it in Indiana. It's not available in Michigan. I could get the Ardbeg Anoa, which is just... <clears throat> head and shoulders above it just so good so um <coughs> that's our breakdown our big thumbs up uh, two thumbs up one thumb up for um virginia highland whiskey and no thumbs up for um mccarthy single malt um and again my apologies to the people at mccarthy i know you people work hard um, and I really love your, really, really love your brandies, but this just ain't, this just ain't doing it for me. Um, so, um, anyway, I hope you and yours are all doing well, staying, uh, happy, healthy, and sane, um, as I'm trying to, um, so, um, we'll see you next time. Peace.